So, what kind of mysterious thing do we have in here? It's just an empty hall. Another well, Skyward Strike shrine. 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 Gah! Speak! Oh, whoops. Just messed that up. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword with your host, MJ4106. And now we're about to see the secret of this Temple of Light business in the clouds. After a stupid puzzle that I should have known better. Uh, what, what the? What is this, a puppet show? What's going on here? Jesus, it's mystifying but weird. Oh, great. Are you going to sing again? Master, master, I have important information. When you struck the crest of the Skyward Strike with your sword, a message from the goddess, goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, master. These are her words. God, what is it, like a program that I'm not allowed to access without admin permission? He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. The edge of time? The sacred flames are three in number. To obtain them, you must also earn the relics known as the three sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. Stop dancing and tell me. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will find your way to the purifying sacred flames. Now I bestow unto you a melody. It will serve you as a key, opening the first trial that waits you deep in the wilds of Farron Woods. I'm ready for the song. So yeah. You have a song for particular locations that you need to use in order to activate a trial. Jesus. V really knows how to make a light show, apparently. And why am I swimming with loft wings in the sky now? What is this? What is this? I guess it's nothing important. But my harp now knows a new song. That song is called Ferro's Courage. Its rousing melody will guide you. Ferro's Courage? Awesome! All right, so I guess we're going to the Farron Woods then. Thanks for telling me. Master, you must overcome the trial set before you and obtain the three gifts to reach the sacred flame. I've committed Ferro's Courage to memory. Now you can use your dowsing ability to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. I suggest you set out for Farron Woods as soon as you are ready. Gladly. I don't like this place. It's too empty. It's obviously a ploy for something else. To the gate, then. Yeah, let's search for it here. I bet it's in this temple somewhere. I just know it. Ah, dang, I've got the hiccups like mad. Ugh. Have I been eating something bad recently? I keep eating hiccups and crap. Whatever. Look at these birds. These bird statues are mocking me. I shall leave now. There's nothing of a real interest in here yet. Although... No, don't land on the Rainbow Island. There's nothing useful there. I'm being tempted. They're tempting me! Give me that. I know better than to be tempted by fate. Boy, I can, like, travel this beam of light. Aw, uh, I need a light suit equivalent thing. But I don't have what is known as a light suit. Get your freaking butt out of my way, sir. I appreciate you sticking that in my face. But now I can leave, so thank you for that. Now, continuing onward. Woo! Yeah, let's just go straight to Farron Woods. I have plenty of money, but I don't think I can get a new... Oh, God! Why? Thanks! You changed my direction and barely threw me off course. You know what? Screw it. Let's see if I can get a bigger wallet. I want one. Yes, these are just purely in the sky. How the hell does this even happen? And why are they all getting directly in front of me right now? Come on, man. A little more considerate. Jesus. Alright, anyway, let's go check the guy one more time to see if he has anything to offer me in regards to money. Also, I don't want this heart metal anymore. I have something I want to buy, actually, so I can do that too. Looks like I planned a detour without planning a detour. What a good way to go, huh? 
I'm misdirecting not only my viewers, but myself as well. I apologize for the confusing messages I've brought along. But let's see if he'll give me something of use. Hey, Batru, I'm here! I have about half of them, so I think you'd be satisfied. <laughs> oh, you've gathered quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent! Please take this token of deepest, the deepest, deepest appreciation. Oh, it's just more money. Okay, thanks, I guess. You've made such magnificent progress gathering gratitude crystals. Please continue helping me a bit longer. <laughs> We're making good progress on you. I almost gave away how much we there are in existence, which I didn't want to do yet. But we'll get to that. So. We're making good progress. He decided to give us some of his money. He is a rich demon. You wonder, do you like... He doesn't want to be a monster, so I imagine he didn't steal it. How the heck did he get all that money? Oh, God! Wow. Way to go there. Hey, when you guys dealt something to the monster, if you knew that he was down here, says... You're willing to come down here and save me. You're the same guy! Jeez, they only have one knight who patrols this place ever? I guess. Sorry for missing the ladder, by the way. I'll try it again. I made it. <laughs> I almost missed it again. Oh, that was embarrassing. Okay. So, now I have more money. There's something I want to buy. And I think we all know what that is. Hey, Beetle! Find Beetle! Would you mind? Where is that bastard, anyway? Hmm. I know. Oh, I see him. Cut him off at the pass! He won't get away from me for long. And he'll stay in place forever, by the way. If you hit that bell, he'll just stay there forever, waiting for anybody to come to him. But I'm not that kind of cool person to just leave him hanging. I actually want to buy something. That'd be a jerk move to not actually buy anything. So! What do you have to offer? Oh yeah, get the last, let me get the last pouch, actually. I was actually gonna get the heart metal, but this is better. Because now I can have as many things as I can carry now. I need it! Now I can have all eight pouch items. Perfect. Yeah, you say everything suits me. I don't believe you. Jerk. Bye. All right, so now I'm full of pouch items. Sweet. That'll be good for when I get more bottles. Should I have a slot open for a bottle opener? Ah. Again, we somehow make these very easy to open. No corks getting stuck or anything. That's a relief. All right, let me go. Let me go see my girl. Uh -huh. well, I don't really want to be my girl, but I made her believe that anyway, just so I could be nice to her, I guess. Okay, take this heart metal. All right, let me sell this, by the way. Fifty rupees. All right. Let's see. How many rupees? How about uh, fifty? Do we have a deal? Yep. Thank you for the money. Thanks, I bet you've got lots more important swords. No rush, sweetie. Take all the time you need. Actually, that's, uh, it. Yep, yeah, I'm good. You can get the rest of it. I just want to get rid of that satchel and take more money with me. That was my only point of doing that. Now we head to the Pharaoh Woods. I got my last pouch, got rid of this heart metal I don't need, and I'm ready to go. Let's yep. march! Onward! Carry me, bird! We went off the wrong place of diving, but that's beside the point. We're going to Fair on Woods. Go, bird! You have a magnificent tail, by the way. Just thought I'd point that out. Your feathers really are gorgeous compared to the other ugly creatures out here. I don't know why you're red compared to everybody else, but that's fine. Damn it! I wanted to kill the bird! Especially those ugly creatures. They're the worst of all. But I guess I'll let them live. I have a mission to do. But where should I land? 
I don't think I need to go back to this. So I'm just gonna go to the Farron Woods entry. That should be good enough. Once I hit here, I'll be able to figure out what I need to do from here on out. Yes. Oh. Hey, if I report, Master Master, I've detected the aura of the, a trial gate nearby. If you can pinpoint the origin of this aura, you stousing, I conjecture the song you learned at the Isle of Songs for Roar's Courage will reveal the gate. Like, 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 like oh, okay. I don't believe you. <laughs> That's what the red thing in the tree is. That little hot part of the tree can be cut for things. Cool. I see, look, the people are getting tougher now. Hey, buddy. Hey, you actually cut me while I was doing that to you. Can you back off, all of you? Jesus. Surrounded by fools that love to use their hand axes. Uh, I tired myself out way too early. Come on, make it. Yeah. Make it. Yeah, that's better. Ah. So, yeah, I guess I should say this as well. Ooh, blue bird. Nice. I should say this if I haven't said it already. There's one major complaint people have about this game, which I can kind of go with. It's, uh, pretty linear. As you remember, Wind Waker was, um, very open world. It, the world is a freaking 7x7 seven seven grid for crying out loud. This game's very straightforward in comparison. Which, you know, I don't think it's a bad thing. But it does get rid of the per the point of like being able to explore things. Still, there's not too many secrets to find. But again, it doesn't take away from the main gameplay, which is why I like it. Oh yeah, I have bombs now. I should probably be using these. Enjoy yourself in front of that cave. Ah! Dang it! I wanted to hit your brother. Oh, just for a heart piece. That's, uh, surprising. I'll take it, then. It restores my health, too, so why wouldn't I take it? Oh, there's an amber relic up there. Not like I care for it, though. Get away from me. I can crush you that rock, but I'll let you live this time. Okay, so where the heck is this thing? This way. All right. I should make my move then. Money! Oh crap, I accidentally got the birds to leave. Why are the trees hot with money in them anyway? That's weird. Yeah, I won't question how trees work in this game, I guess. I just wanted to cut the tree. Don't get in my way, buddy. Or else you'll feel even more of my wrath next time. Okay, we're getting closer. So, more over that way. Also, I see a goddess cube I couldn't get before. You are a pest. I'll let you live, only because I don't feel like killing you. Hmm. I doubt I could do this. Yeah, I doubt I could, but I'll try. Oh, damn it. Eh, I'm probably not going to reach it. I'm not going to waste my time trying. Ah, there we go. That's the place I need. Looks strange. Let's summon this little... What the heck? Alright. Cool. I guess this is where we play. You know what to do if... Let's play this right. It's a different song. But the tempo's a little different. But you have to make sure you're really on point with the rhythm. See if you're off, they won't activate the pedals. Dang it! 
What was I doing wrong there? Wow. That song is completely different from what I thought it was the first time. Probably because we're not surrounded by magic and stuff. Eh, maybe it does sound the same. I'm just being ignorant. It's ignorant! <laughs> Something here is reacting to our performance of Forward's Courage. I have confirmed the appearance of a strange mark on the ground. I calculate 90% possibility that this mark is a trial gate. As written by the goddess statue we heard from on the Isle of Songs. Thrust your sword into the center of the mark on the ground before you. So this is a trial? And why are you only 90% sure? What else would this be? Alright. Let's do this! Oh god! What is happening? Am I becoming a spirit now? Whoa. Hey, it's nighttime. Whoa. Yo, this is pretty freaky. Hmm. Huh. What the heck is going on now? Master, master, where are you? As expected, I cannot follow you into the realm, for this trial calls out to your mind alone. My mind? This is the nature of places known as the Sun Realms. They are domains of the spirit, accessible only to the goddess's chosen hero. This particular trial, from our Sun Realm, tests your limits on your courage. Your spirit is your spirit is temporarily separated from your physical body so that you may undertake this challenge. To reach the location of the flames that will enhance your sword, it is necessary for you to overcome this trial and undergo spiritual growth. Really? Ah! Ow! What the hell is this, my heart? Why is my heart a flower with weird bulbs on it? A spirit vessel. This mysterious plant represents your spirit, master. My spirit? What the heck? That is your spirit vessel. When this vessel is full, it will signify you have successfully completed the trial, allowing your spirit to grow. This, in turn, will allow the gods to bless you with a new power. To fill this spirit vessel, you need to search for something known as the Tear for Roar. There are many of them spread across this strange world. Oh, so things like that. Master, do you see the glowing object just in front of you? Yep. That's one of them. That is a tear for roar. You will need to collect 15 of them. However, this is not a simple task as it would seem. The work in this realm is referred to as a trial for a good reason. What could that reason be? Is that hard? If you take even a single step outside the protective circle you stand in, the Gorians of this realm will wake up and pursue you, Master. Oh, jeez. I do not like the sound of that. If a guardian manages to land even a single hit on you, your spirit will shatter and you will fa fail the trial. Oh, God! No hits at all, huh? You must collect the tears scattered throughout this area and fill the spirit vessel without being hit by an attack. Was my explanation clear, Master? Do you want me to explain again? Please don't. I know what I'm doing. Understood, Master. I'll be eagerly awaiting your return in the outside world. May the gods watch over you, Master. Oh, whoa, whoa, why'd my flower wither? Okay. It's freaking than I expected. You got a tear for roar. This object's power halts the movements of the guardians for just 90 seconds. Collect all 15 to pass the trial. All right, so, yes, this is the trials. You have all this to do. Ooh, what's this? A light fruit. This mysterious fruit enables you to see beacons over the positions of sacred tears of 30 seconds. So this trial, I had to collect all these without getting touched. Pretty nuts. But thankfully, they make it so things will be easy for you. I right, also, don't get... As you can tell, you need to be stealthy. Don't get caught in light like an idiot. Make sure you get all these in a timely manner, or else you will be in trouble. As you'll be hunted down. Notice that this area is exactly like the uh, Farron Woods. It tests your mobility throughout this entire area. Oh, wow, there's still a blown up wall there. I have a rock wall. Master, master, what the hell? Oh, God. That is a weird looking wall. The unusual liquid substance known as that covers this area is known as waking water. And it has certain unique properties. You make contact with waking water, the Guardians will be immediately alerted to your presence. Bulls of waking water located all throughout the area. I suggest you watch where you step. Waking water. That is something to also look out for. Oh, look, it's a purple relic. I needed one of those. So, yeah. 
This is the first trial, so it's not too hard, but you really have to make sure you know what's going on. And here we go, finally a Dusk Relic. This item is similar in appearance to the Amber Relic, yet very different. It can only be found in certain places. Realms like this are where you find these. So we've always collected every single kind of collectible at least once. This is where the Dusk Relics are, and you can find a lot of them in here, actually. Pretty convenient. So be sure not to skip them up if you see them. Oh boy. There really are a lot, so take your time to collect them if you want. I know I will. Just make sure you don't waste too much time. That flower represents the amount of time you have of protection until the guardians just come after you automatically. Waking water will kill that immediately. So you know. Be extra careful around those substances that can really get you. Oh wow, I don't even remember walking across here before. Oh yeah, watch out. There's a lot of water down there, so you know you don't want to fall in. Thankfully there's no swimming you have to do, but... Well, why would you want to anyway? Ooh, I see another Dusk Relic. I should probably get that. Okay, I have 8 of the 15 tiers. That's pretty good. Whoops. Oh yeah, and you can't use a sailcloth either. In fact, you have no items with you if you haven't noticed. No sword, no shield, no beetle, no slingshot, nothing. You're on your own. You're only on your own movement. This game's basically become a stealth platformer. Metal Gear. Oh no, maybe not Metal Gear. You know, it's different. So it's worth keeping an eye out for everything. Hmm. Let me go this way now. Careful. If you also get near their light at all, they will start hunting you down. So stay away from them as much as you can. Once they get any hint of your presence, they'll start chasing you down. Be extra careful. Section these sections are pretty hard when you're not ready for them. You definitely don't want to take damage, obviously. Okay, only three left. I'm making good progress now. Things are looking up. All right. Oh, jeez! I almost ran right into the water. I was not ready for that. No, I'm sure there's nothing in the trees. Ooh! Yeah, see, careful. They can even trick you with that crap. Hey, there's no waking water here. Don't be shy. <laughs> Just kidding. They're everywhere. Okay, there's the last one that I left for last on purpose. So let me go over to it now. There we go. It's all nice and calm over here. You collect every last tier for roar. Master Spirit has grown. The trial continues until you exit the Silent Realm. Proceed with caution on your way back to the entrance, so that you can claim proof of your spiritual growth. So now I have all 15, but that doesn't mean I'm fully done yet. I still have to get out of here, which thankfully for this trial is extremely easy. Ooh, another Dusk Relic. Nice. I see your meter stays full. So as long as you don't hit any waking water, or go into a light of another spirit, you're fine. Or a guardian, rather, not a spirit. You're the only spirit here in the spirit realm. I believe I'm good. There's not any more dusk relics, I'm gonna go. All right. Once you have all tiers and make it to the end, victory is yours, and you get the item you so needed. Which, for this case, happens to be something magical. It would be the water dragon scale. This sacred gift left by the goddess grants you the power to explore underwater and even execute a spin maneuver. Yup. Water level's coming. Get ready. We have to swim now. Oh, boy. All the fun we're gonna have. Oh, man. Oh, God. He snuck up on me while I was doing this. Anybody could come attack me while I'm doing that, apparently. Congratulations, Master Master. You have passed this trial. You now have the power to proceed to the location of the first sacred flame that will enhance your sword. I didn't have it before. The water dragon's water dragon scale. It's one of the goddess's sacred gifts. 
The Great Spear of the Water Dragon has provided you with the ability to swim freely underwater. Cool. The flame you seek is somewhere within these woods. Master, I must conclude that this flame is likely in a part of this area you have not explored. Obviously. Did you watch the whole thing? How long were you stalking me? Oh, hello again. I see you have the Water Dragon skill there. Q. That's amazing. I heard that if you have one, Q, you can swim through the water like a dragon source in the sky. Hmm. Ah, cool. There must be places here in the woods that you haven't visited yet, Q. You can use the Water Dragon skill to explore areas you couldn't even get to before, Q. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Awesome. Well, I'm saving and quitting. On that note, I'm going to kick this guy's ass. Just a, a high note with your death. And we'll save. I saw there was a big pool of water, so we'll go to there next time and see exactly what this water dragon skill is offer. Oh god, I see a fat Boca blend. Is that a moblin? I guess. So next time we'll go swimming. Reluctantly so, I must swim to get the sacred flame. Hopefully it's not so logical thing if the flame's underwater. That'd be another stupid misconception we don't need. <laughs>